Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about the do while statement. Okay, let's proceed. I already created the folder lecture 19. At the same time, it is also the name and the solution name in Visual Studio. So what we need to do is to click on the source files, right click on this, point to add, then click new item. And then right here we're going to click the C++ file, that cpp and under the name we're going to replace source.cpp into sandata underscore comprog2 underscore so we have lecture 19 and then click add so we have here the file and then we are going to zoom it to 200 so to make it more visible and let's do the coding so we have pound include i stream so we have using namespace std standard integer main and then we have the curly braces begin and end now uh, let's have the declaration so we have integer data type pambilang is equals to 1 okay let's move to the do while statement so do we have here begin and end okay under the end what you need to do is to type while so this is how the program do while statement works okay this is the beginning and this is considered to be the condition and also the end okay which is determination phase okay now let's do the work right here we're going to display bilang and then on the while we're going to put increment okay it will increase one at a time until it is considered to be e less than equals to 10 and then let's end this statement with a semicolon afterwards let's going to click debug and start without debugging to see the output of this okay we have here the output okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten press any ticket to continue that is how do while works it will do what is inside of the open and close curly braces and that is a display of pambilang which starts with one and then suddenly it will go down one line with the use of end line and then we have here the condition while pambilang is less than or equal to 10 and one is less than to 10 that's why it goes back you're going to do it again okay then two then you're going to do it again until it reaches 10. So if it is equal to 10, then the while statement is considered to be ended. And the return 0, we're going to go back the output into integer main. That is how do while statement works. That's all for today. Thank you and good luck.